Hey beauties and welcome back to I Am Beautiful Hustler TV and if you are new to my channel just go ahead and click that subscribe button and turn on your bells. Now today's video is sponsored by Tanache Hair. They sent me over this 26 inch straight lace frontal wig and today I'm going to do a top ponytail with a swoop with some really really uh, brushed out loose curls and to, of course today I'll be using my girl at Drink of the Baby so if you do not know who she is by now then you clearly <laughs> ain't been tuning in properly this is my girl for those who know you know for those who don't know get to know okay full of life and personality okay and today we'll be doing a slay for her and i've never done this style before so i really wanted to try it out and i also wanted to do it you know as a recorded video so as i mentioned this hair is from tanache hair it's a 26 inch um straight um, lace frontal wig and they say it's HD lace and I just want to go ahead and you know do this look for you today so I already started off with the ball cap and now um, I went ahead and used um, my kiss foundation and I applied it in the inside of her lace so now we're just gonna jump straight into this video by adding um, all the layers of the glue and once the glue turns clear we will go ahead and pull that lace down and get into melting the lace So now that we have the layers on, I'm going to go ahead and start by pulling the lace in the center and then pulling it down on each side. And I'm going to have her hold each side as I blow dry that lace into place, comb it into place, hot comb it into place, and then I'm going to tie it down with the melt belt.
And while that melt belt is sitting, I'm just gonna go ahead and part off a section of the back so I could go ahead and get the back of the wig stitched down to her last braid so that her wig is secure in the back. And now that that bag is secured, I'm going to go ahead and remove that melt belt. And then I'm going to um, take my scissors and my lace glider and cut off all that extra lace. Um, I did, um, you know, part down some hair as I always do in my tutorials because everything that's been pulled down will be cut off because it's not needed or it's not glued, which means it's not supposed to be glued. So I'm just going to uh, first cut the extra lace from around the ears and then I will begin to raise off all of that extra lace. And now that that extra lace is gone, I'm going to go ahead and kind of prep the style for, um, pretty much prep the end stuff for styling. Now, as I mentioned, or as you guys think from the thumbnail, it will be a swoop in the front and then the rest will be in a ponytail. But because this is a lace frontal, it's not so much parting space. Um, it's not like it's a full lace wig or anything where you could just part, you know, as far back or add as much hair to the ponytail as you want. So I had to really pull out just a little piece to, um get the swoop look that we're going for so i'm kind of just doing like a half circle at the top but i'm not trying to do too too much hair in it because i still want to have enough hair for the ponytail part but once i get that part sectioned off i will just go ahead and plait it out the way and then i'm going to pull down this section for my baby hairs and then spray that hairline with tresemme and tie down the lace
And while that melt belt is sitting uh, for the second time, I'm just going to part off the area in the back, just making sure I hot comb and, you know, um, all of those hairs to cover those tracks just back nice and neatly. And I'm going to do the same thing to both sides. And I'm just kind of like prepping it. I'm just getting it nice and smooth so we can do the high ponytail at the top um, that goes like on top of the, not on top of the swoop, but it goes above the swoop. So I just went ahead and put the top into just a quick little ponytail, not necessarily a ponytail we're going to keep, but I just did that so we can, um, you know, remove the melt belt and get the baby hair slayed. Now I'm going to show you guys how I created one side of the baby hairs. I'm just going to repeat the same thing to the other side, which I, um, you know, I just did it off camera, but um, I'm just pulling some of those hairs up and then I'm going to take my lace glider and chop it down and go in with my mousse and my holding spray to create our soft but firm holding looking natural baby hairs.
and here is what the baby hair was looking like and as i mentioned i did the same thing on the other side so it's symmetrical baby hairs and now we're going to go ahead and get this top ponytail um actually secure properly and then we're going to do the little you know wrap around part for the ponytail and then we'll actually get into doing the swoop And this is what it's looking like so far. Um, we're just, you know, getting the ponytail nice and sleek, and we're gonna do the wraparound part. But first, I want to do the uh, swoop. So when I do this too, I'm just going to hot comb it out really, really good. I'm gonna part it in half and make sure I get everything straight. And then I'm just gonna take, um, you know, um, some holding spray, and I'm just going to kind of just swoop the hair in the direction that I want it to go. So uh, I'll just be using pretty much holding spray for this part and you know just a comb to get it swooped nicely so yeah just uh watch how i do that i do have other tutorials when we're doing a swoop but like i mentioned with this specific style today this is my first time actually doing it so it was a fun experience and i think i did a pretty good job so you just guys you know you let me know what you think down below um this is actually a jada inspired um hairstyle so i will actually like drop a picture right here um, where you know what it looked like and then you know the look that I created so just keep watching So what I like to do that makes it easier for me before I actually start, you know, spraying the swoop into place, I kind of like just comb all the hair downward and I put everything behind the ear first. And then I kind of like pre-shape it with my comb. And then I go in with um, my holding spray once I get the actual shape and, you know, the curve, you know, how I want it to be. And then I will start spraying it down into place. And then, of course, once you actually get it where you want to, you can just take a bobby pin and bobby pin it um, in the side.
And now, as you guys see, I kind of combed the hair over the flip. And now I'm just taking a little piece from the ponytail and I'm just going to wrap it around the ponytail so we can cover up those rubber bands. And then we will go in, um, I will go in with my flat iron and then, you know, flat iron the um, hair um, to create some loose curls. I did not use a curling iron today because I just went with my throwback, you know, flat iron curls. But uh, once I actually do the curls I don't want it to be like roller set like to the T type of curls I really wanted them to be loose curls so I just wanted my flat iron and curled it tight but I'm going to brush all of well finger comb all of it out until it is like really 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 loose so um I kind of messed up right there y'all but <laughs> we just gonna go ahead and you know try this again so I'm taking my flat iron and I'm just spinning it like I would normally do if it was a curling iron and I just pulled it down and I'm just gonna you know do both sides at the top first and then I'm gonna just go you know start doing the bottom section I'm not gonna show the hurl the hurl <laughs> I'm not gonna show the whole curling process but um you know it's pretty self-explanatory um I do have videos on here where I curl so you guys see how I do it already but I'm just taking pieces and just curling it back and then I will finger comb everything out And now it's time to go ahead and, you know, smooth down the final touches. And then I'm going to take my hands and just brush everything out with my fingers because we do want those curls nice and loose. We don't want tight curls. So I'm just going to keep finger combing and finger combing it all out. And then last but not least, I'm going to uh, black spray and conceal that little part right there where the part is. And that will pretty much sum up this look. Let me know what you guys think down below. Um, it was very, very cute. I loved it, loved it, loved it. So let me know what you guys think down below once I can, um, I can see this part is done. So yeah, let me know how you think I got, you know, you guys think I did for the first time on this look. Um, I know the more I do it, the more raw -er it could be. But yeah, I was feeling it. It was really, really cute. I love the loose curls and everything. And I just hate how the lighting was because on this video, it's like, I was recording when the sun was out, so it, it made my video look like I had a halo around the hairline, but in person, you know, it's definitely not like that, but either way it goes, I love this install, so let me know what you guys think down below. Bye!